that's all on our episode of social connect today we have two very popular content creators we've got ahmed and joel welcome to our show thank you, thank so, you much. so much for having us Great to have you with us, and I know you all are very popular uh, as content creators on social media. But I want to know about your background a little bit. So let's start by knowing about you, Joel, first. Definitely. So it all started in 2018 when uh, I gave myself a chance to live my dream and be in a beauty competition, and I got the title. And from there, I started to do some uh, content creation and ads in Lebanon, and transmitted all of this to the UAE, where I am today. On the side, I did another one also, another beauty competition worldwide in uh, Italy in 2022, which all of this helped me to build a bit of a portfolio to be where I am today. Oh, lovely. Yes. Marcella, she's very famous. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's so much that you've done and uh, yeah, there is always hard work and effort that takes to bring you Following where you are today. That's it. Absolutely. But did you always know that this is what you wanted to do? Yeah, it was always my dream since I was a small kid. Everyone's like, I want to be an engineer. I, wanna be... I am an engineer, but at the same time, I wanted oh. to have this on the side. You know, it's, yeah. uh, it's my dream and I made it come true. And you made it a full time thing as well. Yes, of course. <laughs> Coming to you, Ahmed, popularly known as Chai with Ahmed on Where's social my chai? media. <laughs> Where's our Chai? That's also true. <laughs> So Ahmed, I, from the time I know you, I know that you do like film reviews and you do whether they are bad, good, positive, negative, you write and you talk about them. And you also love doing uh, reviews on Bollywood movies and South Indian movies a lot. So tell us about how it all started and about your love for Bollywood. So my love for Bollywood started when I was age of five. So um, most of the people, they already know that I was, um, you know, like bullied a lot and, um, you know, all those things for like 22 years. But the only thing that really protected me was Bollywood films. So some people, they say, you know, it's 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 mental issue where you talk up to yourself a lot in front of mirror. But that really helped me. Of course. I was watching Bollywood films a lot and they do all this. So I adapt that and really that really helped me and that really gave me the confidence then after that that i know that bollywood is a thing so i grown up watching bollywood films and then i felt to do content about bollywood to show that how much it affected me in a positive way and how it grown me and uh bollywood is very beautiful it's mm. beautiful um industry and not only Bollywood but also India in general they yeah. have like multicultural things their food yeah and we had great relationship before but import and export and everything so that's a token of love from my side to them so a golden bird where it came to both countries and married them so this is how it started and yeah I mean from movie reviews it started from uh, post COVID. yeah I think that was the time where we don't have new ideas to come up and I sat and I want to do something I want people to know me but as I mentioned I was bullied a lot for 22 years I didn't have a friend whenever I go out I see people having friends and I'm only alone mm. I go to groceries with my family mm. I don't have anyone mm. so you know I wanted to break that barrier to come out and you know I had a passion and love for media but I was always afraid yeah. if I go in front of anyone they will body shame me they will mm. see something mm. then I told to my mom that I really want to do something like that I really want to improve and she was like can you handle people outside I said yes and I started to work as a customer service mm. then I broke that barrier and now I am Joel tell us about the first piece of content you created and then uh, based on the response, what did you feel? Did you feel proud that you did it? Or did oh, you wow. feel like <laughs> embarrassed that you posted it and uh, you wanted to take it off? Oh, you're taking me now to the past. Okay, so uh, it all started with a beauty competition. I wasn't really comfortable doing all of this content creation unless I had this title. So yeah. I had like something like I can rely on and now no one can talk, you know, because yeah. I have a crown, you yeah, know what yeah, I mean? So yeah. that's it. It was something related to fashion. At the same time, it was transferring all of the knowledge I know. Yes. So yes, I'm a food engineer. So I was using this to transfer to people how to avoid poisoning, how to be good in nutrition, to have the good body and to have the shape so you can reach yeah. the beauty. So the combination of both. Yeah. The reaction to this, it was uh, surprising to everyone, especially my family. What are you doing <laughs> at that time? There was no TikTok, no nothing of this, so it was very strange. So I was a bit kind of weird. And then with time, everyone started adopting this. And mm. uh, 
they were like, yeah, Joel used to do this, you know? Yeah. And after you, you cannot be an example. Yeah. So yeah, that was the story from the beginning. Yeah. I think this is the very unfortunate, as you mentioned, that people like they crack their eggs and this one. Yeah. I, I always imagine if they go for a job interview and they say, oh, you're the one who crashing the eggs in your family. <laughs> that's what I you wanted know? to, that's what I was coming to. I wanted to ask you guys, open your Instagram in the day and you just like scroll and one after another, you see nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> For viewers, they do everything. Yeah. Yes. So do you feel that is kind of uh, fading out the, the work and the, the stuff that real content creators are making? In my opinion, I think it will never fade if people are encouraging them, they are having fun while watching, their views are increasing. I think they will do much more than that. Yeah. But the issue is they have to think about the dignity, yeah. about the respect. First of all, they are coming and the face of the country. True. Then people will say, oh, people from this country, they do like this one. Yeah. You know, it's, it's very bad. But for them, views, money really matters. Exactly. But for us, respect, dignity, content creation matters. So exactly. that's two different levels. Yeah. I feel that now the market in social media is oversaturated. Everyone has access to it. And that's the problem. Yeah. For example, a kid can open now a TikTok account and, oh, yes, I'm doing this today. And, you know, and kids are influenced by this. And okay. honestly, I'm really worried about the new generation. Yeah. Now there's no restrictions even on TikTok. 100%. And this is where all of these kids are getting influenced. And the market is getting even bigger and bigger from all of this nonsense. True, very true. Tell me, uh, Ahmed, you've reviewed so many movies yeah. and you're so in to films now like so involved I'm sure you think up stories on your own also so if you had to change the ending of any film like any recent movie that you've seen and you've thought that you know if I were to make this movie I would not do this ending I think my own film that I have doubt for my own film and terrible. the film that I died <laughs> the terrible, <laughs> they cut my head in a gift box I was like Wow. No, this is so bad. <laughs> Come on, I have to have a better ending. I don't know, like a romantic ending, comedy, but not like killing me, like, halas, go away. Chop your no. head off. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and the face was very sad. I was like, no, oh oh, please. God. That's the only thing that really comes to my mind right now. <laughs> Joel, tell me, uh, you've been uh, acting as well. So you have been doing this hand in hand, modeling, acting, content creation, everything together. For, for any audition of a movie, if you had to pick a prop from your modeling career, which one would it be and why? Okay, it was always one of my dreams. I had a chance to take Victoria's Secret, but it was in pyjama. Yeah. And that was like a, a dream come true, yeah. you know? So I uh, shot for uh, Victoria. I think this is the project that I would be so proud of. Mm -hmm. Tell me, what is the uh, kind of content you like to keep putting out now, keep coping up with the trends and everything that every day you see something new on social media. Do you give in to a trend or is there something you like to stick to when you're creating content? Uh, lately, I stopped doing content creation on my own page. I'm, more, uh, I'm focusing more on the podcast itself, Brave Talk with Joel. Okay. So different personalities and different cultures and different nationalities every time. And I'm trying to understand relationships today because uh, it's shocking in Dubai yeah. and how it turned and uh, now everyone is trying to be just in a situation ship forever. Yeah. So I'm trying to understand more and more people, how do they think and trying to transfer this to the world because I guess this is now of the, one of the biggest topics that we're, we're uh, facing. So this is what I'm trying to do. And this content creation for me, as I said, it might not be very fast because I'm not cracking my head with eggs. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> but I think that I'm giving a lot of good content and professional one as well. Get it. Ahmed? I want to go now into like more deeper into films, the shows. I want to explore myself. Yeah. I want to see what am I good at? Mm -hmm. Because I think this is a perfect time for me when I, I am having my fan base. Yeah. I want to give them a little bit extra. Yeah. So I think this is the thing. Okay, I'm going to um, challenge you. Mm. We've got pout competition. Do you like to pout? <laughs> I'm sure she, she likes to pout. Me. You try? Pouch? She's already pouting. <laughs> okay, let, let's see who pouts better. <laughs> no, no, Is whenever that a pout? I no, see, I don't pout. I have one fixed. Whenever I take picture, I just move and my head and smile. That's no, no, my no. pout. I want a pout. Same thing. Move your head, look that's, here, and that's hey Joe's pout. <laughs> I don't want to do it. Come on, oh, do okay. it. Let's try. Oh God. <laughs> What about you, Joel? Come on, you have to beat, you have to beat Ahmad. And definitely there's the body twist. So there's the body like this and the up like this and the hair like this. And you give it the look. 
Oh, wow. <laughs> good man. Did you pick Coming up? from expert, <laughs> I need a lot of practice for this. Okay, let's see now. Uh, you have to think of a dialogue and say it and make her participate in it as well. What's so you, it dialogue? has to be like a two-way dialogue. Hindi dialogue. Hindi, of oh, course, Bollywood. The person does not feel it, he feels it with love. It means I'm not afraid from slap, I'm afraid from love. Oh. Okay, so... <laughs> so you can say tappar se dar nahi lagta hai pyar se lagta hai <laughs> good try Shibu, you got the meaning of it right yeah 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 with the, with the slap <laughs> ladies are good with slap she's saying i'm not scared of the slap i'm scared of love oh. Oh. no don't be love is beautiful yeah yeah sometimes <laughs> Okay, well, wish you all the very thank best for so it much. and wish you all the very best for your thank project you very much. as well. Hopefully. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you.